The world's premier kickboxing organization returns to the Netherlands. We're in Rotterdam tomorrow night at Top Sports Centrum. We look forward to sharing some of the new talent with you tomorrow night. But the main event, champion versus champion. It is featherweight and lightweight champions going head to head for the lightweight championship of the world. I can handle everything, you know. If, if, if the mind can believe it, you know, I can achieve it. And still, and still, and, and you know, I'm, I'm very confident in my abilities and I will show that tomorrow night. He said he's very happy to be here at 70 kilos and uh, for, for a star wise, it's going to be an interesting match. And we continue to roll along here live in Rotterdam, the Netherlands. Todd Griggs alongside Joseph Baltolini. Let's inhale and exhale as we get set for our main event. And what a fight this should be as Petch Panamarung challenges to Johnny Bezzatati for his lightweight title. Yeah, I mean, once I heard this matchup was set, I couldn't even believe it. I had to double check, basically message Robbie and make sure this is right because this height difference, the size difference is what makes this fight so intriguing. Well, Joe, he walks to the ring like he's royalty and in Muay Thai and kickboxing circles, he basically is royalty. He's been untouchable over the last few years. Well over 200 fights, 13 and one in glory. And now he takes on his biggest challenge ever. Literally, he says he's never fought someone as big as Tajani Bistati. We've been commentating fights now for almost seven years and we've seen Tajani grow from that 18 year old to a, a grown man here. He talked about being champion back in those days. He's living the dream, he's living his moment and here he's walking out to probably the biggest fight of his career so far. Well, this is it. Petch Panamarung is moving up to lightweight to challenge the division king. Here we go, five rounds for the lightweight championship. With bicep control. Opus Tati landing oh, punches, oh. trying the knees as well. Right. Good opening round Punch. here for the champ. Yeah, very good round for him. Staying patient, he knows it's five rounds. Five. Just really impressed with Johnny's composure. Oh, the little guy sent the big guy down for a minute. Yeah, front kicks are good off balancing strikes. Way traffic thus far, Joe. What can Petch do here to change things up? Well, he's not, he's still doing one kick, single kick. He's got to really start maybe mixing in head kicks, try to catch Tajani, but just the single body kick isn't enough. Because right now, Tajani's blocking all of those kicks. He's countering very well, being sharp with that left hook. Low, but Petch is whipping overhands now. Oh, a body shot sends Petch down for the first time in his glory career. He was fighting it for a while. I thought he was calling a low blow. That will do it. Tejani Bestani is the first fighter to ever stop Petch Panamarong. Declaring your winner by knockout and still lightweight champion of the world. Tejani Bestati. How we feeling? Um, you know, man, I would like to thank everyone here in the audience. It feels amazing. But, you know, we already knew. We already knew. You know, we have been training hard. So we already knew that this would, be a, would have been the outcome, you know? All right, Tejani, you came into glory at 18 years old. You developed in age, size, maturity, and you're really becoming a good champion on the mic and your skills. Give me your thoughts on your development so far. Um, you know, I I'm very thankful for that. And l like you said, you know, I'm getting more mature, more mature each and every time. And I'm really happy that I'm in this position. I'm thankful and, you know, I got a tremendous team as well. Everyone from Day's Gym here in attendance. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.